Hello, welcome to my channel. Today I'm excited to be doing another unboxing of the quarterly subscription box from Archer and Olive. So with that, I'm gonna go ahead and open up the package. Um, I really enjoyed the first box that I got from this company, though I had put my subscription on pause and did not realize that that was just for the next box. Oh, nice, a little something extra. Um, so I got this box this month and I wasn't expecting it. Um, so I'm really excited to see what's inside it. It's definitely a different shape box than I have seen before. Here we go, let me zoom in a little bit. Um, so I have no idea what's in this box. I know that each month you can look on their website and I think you get a little bit of a preview of what's in the boxes, but this is a complete surprise for me. So I'm excited to check that out. And go ahead and take the plastic off. Their packaging is gorgeous as always. Look how big that box is, it's huge. There we go. So it says, gather your blanket and pack your favorite lunch. Bring your supplies to a special spot that brings you happiness as we enjoy a charming picnic. How awesome. And this little extra something they sent says to nibble on. Let's go ahead and open that up and see what that is. Always love a good snack. Oh, that's cool. It's uh, some washi tapes and creative affirmation affirmations. Which card do you need to read today? Looks like a little mini deck. Let's check this out. It is. Oh my gosh. How cute is that? Little strawberries. And they all have different little sayings on them. Oh, that is cute. I love that. All right. And it's got a cute little sleeve to put it in. I'll just add that to my Little oracle decks. That's cute. Okay, and then we have some extra washi rolls, it looks like. Excited to see. What the oh those are cute. Oh look at that. Let's go ahead and actually I'm gonna get a white piece of paper. I think I have some right here. That way we can take a look and see what it looks like. So this is just some white printer paper I had. Close by, and let's go ahead and put some washi tape on there. Oh, I love that. So cute. The little strawberries matches the cards. It's such a pretty color. It's like a rose color. And then we've got looks like flowers, plants, and ladybugs. That is beautiful. Love that. All right, it looks like the light outside is changing a little for me. Let me run and turn on another light real quick. Not sure if that helps a little, but every little bit helps sometimes. All right, so let's go ahead and open up this big box and see what we've got inside. I can figure out how to, oh, everything's always very well packaged. 
looks like. Oh, it's just stuck. Good. Put some nice sticky on there so it didn't open. Ta -da. Oh, look at all that stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and push this off to the side a little bit so we can see what is in there. And I'm just gonna grab this first thing I can see. Set of wooden icon stamps. Oh, that's cool. I know we got some stamps before that were letters on the last box that I got and I loved them. Let's see if I can open this without tearing it. Same cute little size box. Oh, wow. That's cute. It's got a little couple different leaves and looks like a couple different flowers and a ladybug and a strawberry and a flower with the rays on it. It comes with an ink pad in here too, it looks like. Let's take this out. So I can, it looks like a gray, a light gray color. That's really neat. I'm gonna go ahead and put some stamps. See if I can open this. Oh, not too bad. You never know how hard it's going to be or not to open some of this plastic. I love these little tiny um, stamp pads that we get in these boxes. Okay, so we're going to use this one first. Oh, it's like a, almost like a grayish, like a greenish gray. Very cool. All right, I wanna try these smaller ones too. And then I'll give you guys a close up so you can see it better. Let's do another one of those. Stamping skills need some practice. Very cute. adorable. Because oh. I haven't been doing stamping in a while. It's me, it's not the stamps, I promise you. Oh, that came out good. Two more to go. And the strawberry. Oh, those are cute. All right, so I'll give you guys a close up of those. Look how fun those are. Nice small size, too, for putting in bullet journals or journals or in general. Cute little ink pad. I like that it fits in there. It's nice. Okay. Let's go ahead and open up some more. Um, this looks neat. Set of two storage crates. Portable, stackable, and collapsible. Oh, I've seen these similar, something to the similar Oh, it's got this nice size. Looks like it just clips right into place. How fun, it's like little baskets because it's springtime and taking a picnic, that's cute. <laughs> love that. They're so creative, you know? And one of the things I love about this box, this is only the second one I've received, but um, is that everything in here is so useful and cute at the same time and it's stuff that I probably would not have bought that for myself but how adorable is that and they stack on top of each other too I mean that is just too that's 
that's too cute. I love that. I will definitely use those for some stationary storage. Okay. Let's see what this is. Tiny picnic in a box. Oh, look how cute that is. It's a little basket, a little yellow basket. Not sure what I'll use that for, but it's cute. I can probably find something. It has some silicone, so don't eat that. And let's see what this is. It's a piece of paper that looks like, um, I don't know if you can see those in this, in the lighting, but it's got this fine pink, looks like plaid, like a picnic blanket would look like. Oh, they're stickers. How fun. What a cute way to to uh, package those. Let's go ahead and take a look. I love this paper too. You could reuse this. It's looks like it's folded in half. It's a nice size piece. So we have a couple of these. Uh, looks like a charcuterie board with some bread and fruits and stuff on it. We have some goblets, pitcher of strawberry lemonade, that's cute. A couple, there's two of each of these. Um, a little pink ladybug with a flower and a leaf, match the stamps, and a basket of strawberries. Mm, now I'm super hungry. <laughs> those are cute. Stick those right in there. I'll just go ahead and open this up. I can show you guys the size of this paper. So you can use this for scrap journaling. Well, they actually give you two of them. So one side is white and one side is got the lines on it. So I could totally reuse that for some sort of craft journaling. Very cute. Okay, put that right there. And let's see what else we have. Let's open these. So it looks like we have some calligraph. Kal <laughs> Hard time saying that. I like the box that it's in. It's like a nice storage box. And these look gorgeous. I love their pens. They're great. Um, Calliograph. It's got a broad tip and a fine tip on these ones. They almost look like brush too, so I think you have to shake these. Not sure. Let's try the fine point. Oh no, it's like a marker. It's got like a felt tip marker. So that's the really fine one. Okay, then let's try the other side. That is like a brush tip. That's what I was trying to do with the other one. All right, let's take a look at the other colors. It's kind of like a neat, like greenish gray again, kind of like the ink pad was. So. Uh, burnt umber looking color almost the fine line on this is so fine I love that and let's see what this color is it's more of a green color than the gray Gray looks much more gray now next to this green. Which it looked a little green before. Now it looks really gray. Um, this is another. So, oh, that's like an olive green. I apologize. 
apologize. My skills with these pens aren't great, but these are really nice. The fine point is really, look how fine that is. I like that. I'm going to really like the fine points, I think, um, for adding a little something to my journals. That's like a rose color. Look how pretty that is. And then it can also go darker with it. Okay. So it's like a rose that if you go over it enough, it looks brown. And when it gets really dark, it actually kind of looks like this brown color in the washi tape. So it's really neat. I really like those. All right, so those are gorgeous pens. Like I said, you know, like these are items, they're fun, they're useful, they're practical. Um, I probably, without having the subscription box going through the, the list, I'd probably buy, you know, something different. But I love everything that comes in these boxes and I use it. So, or at least the stuff I got out of the first box, um, definitely using it. So... All right, we have a couple more items here. We have a big flat envelope, so let's start with this. Solar scrap paper. It says, wait to open. Please see the back for more information. Please do not open until you are ready to use. The light will expose the paper and cause it not to work properly. Gather your items and arrange them on a piece of solar paper out of reach of the sun. Place an acrylic sheet on top to flatten and hold your items to the solar paper. You may need to remove the protective liner from the acrylic sheet. Step three, bring your solar paper outside and place in direct sunlight for two to five minutes. Step four, place your solar paper in a water bath for one to five minutes. Lay your solar paper flat on an absorbent area to allow to dry completely. Step six, use your new art as scrap paper in your journal. That sounds fun. Um, obviously I'm not gonna open it, but I would wager that there is probably some examples of this um, already on some of the professional YouTubers that, that YouTube specifically for Archer and Olive, and I bet you on their website as well, they've probably got, I'm sure they've got something linked to, to an example of it. That is cool. I'm glad they put that nice and bold there to not open it. Okay, and so next, what we have left looks like two journals. So I'm going to just reposition some of my stuff here so that I have some more room. Okay. All right. Actually, let's put that over here just in sight so you guys can see it. All right. Let's open the small one first. So I will say the last box, I got a nice big journal like this size and I am loving it. I'm usually an A5 person. I honestly hadn't tried a larger journal before and I just, I love it. It's great. Um, okay, so this is a smaller one, handcrafted journals and planners. Let's see if I can that open. Okay. okay. Oh, that's cute. Oh my gosh, you guys. Look at how adorable that is. So it's not um, cloth. It feels like you remember those old school, really thick um, tablecloths that they used to use on picnic tables outside before they came up with those really cheap ones. Um, it kind of feels like a canvas like that. And the back is pink 
with white and that's got that golden color and the front's more of a beige with some pink flowers on it. So that's cute. It's got a little pen hole in this tiny little journal. That's adorable. It's got a nice elastic band. Um, oh, look at that. I don't know if there's enough sunlight to catch the reflection, but that's gorgeous. Has your little title page. And then it goes straight into um, dot grid. So like a bullet journal, got a nice spine, lays flat, looks like, of course. Their journals are great, nice thick paper, like all of them do. Oh, that's cute, it even has one of those really pretty little ends on the ribbons. And it looks like we actually got two ribbons. This is definitely gonna be my new little notebook for my purse, for sure. Um, and it's got a little pocket in the back. So beautiful, beautiful little journal. I love this size. And it's chunky and thick. Um, that's cute. I love it. All right. Let's see what our next one is. Okay. Let's put this over here. So this one's pretty big. get the scissors for this one. Sometimes that plastic is hard to... Alright. There we go. Alright, let's see. Actually, can I fit that whole thing in the camera? Go back out a little bit again. I hope the light is good enough to let's move some of these items out of the way that block in the sunlight for us. And let's see what it looks like. Love the boxes. So, oh my gosh. You guys, it's embroidered. Oh, and it feels like, um, like leather. I'm sure it's probably a um, vegan leather most likely, but wow. That is gorgeous. Okay, let's move this away so we can take a closer look at this. So it's got a nice mustardy yellow ribbon and cover. It feels so smooth and sturdy and it almost feels a little, a little soft, like like it's not, but it feels like it is. That's so cool. And it's got the pen holder. Again, that same really cool flashy inside. Let me see if, make sure I'm in the screen for you guys. So big. All right. And it's also a dot grid and as always, they lay nice and flat. Super thick paper. Let me see, actually, I think the boxes will probably tell me. So this is a 160 GSM dot grid. So it's perfect for markers, pens, and even paint. And I would bet that this one, the little one was probably a little bit thinner paper it had 112 or no it's a hunt it's 112 pages 160 gsm so they both have super super thick paper and this one has 160 pages and 160 gsm the larger one very nice and we've got um also for comparison the pages are pretty white forgot to see that on this one for you guys where this one is a cr like kind of a cream color so that's neat so that one's more cream um I don't personally have a preference between the cream or the white um I like them both 
beautiful ribbons as always strong clean ends these, these are just gorgeous I love the little embellishments and it's got a nice nice big sturdy envelope in the back what can I say you guys these are so high quality I mean I am really glad that I um didn't put this one on hold and didn't realize that it was coming because this box is absolutely gorgeous. Um, can't wait to use it. So let me know what you all think down in the comments. Do you guys um, use any of their products? Have you got them before? What do you think? Um, my experience with them so far, I've just received this box and not the previous quarterly box, but the one before that. And I'm loving it. I mean, you know, it's, it's great. It's just beautiful, beautiful quality. All right. With that, I'll stop jabbering and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all next time.